Hey, my name's Daniel. Uh, I'm also known as Coldside on a couple of the forums or Coldside Digital. Um, and in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to create a basic liquid, liquid metal effect in Maya. We won't actually go through transforming from your character mesh to the actual liquid mesh, but we'll do that in a later tutorial just because it's a more advanced topic. Um, so, how this all came about is I'm a frequenter on Video Effects Universe, um, and on their forums, Catman1245 posted a topic requesting how we would go about making an effect of a man turning into, or an object, turning into liquid metal and then back again. So, he posted it for 3D's Max, which I'm not that big a user of, I'm more of a Maya user. Um, <clears throat> So I decided to play around with Maya and see what I came up with. And so yeah, this is the result. Alright, so this is the final rendering that you will achieve at the end of this tutorial. Um, now you can see that within the first few frames there's a glitch where he kind of goes fat. Um, I think it may have been a problem with something that I'd done, but I've redone this tutorial multiple times and it doesn't seem to have the problem of that just there. Um, now, Catman said that he wanted to have the effect of transforming into the liquid metal and then transforming back. So what you could do is just do the simulation, render that out like it is here, and then for when it's transforming back into the man from the liquid metal, just reverse the footage. Alright, so now that you've seen the final result, let's jump into Maya. Now, this tutorial requires that you use Maya 2009. Uh, this is because we're going to be using N particles, which is new to Maya 2009. It's used for simulating water type effects. Um, it's not as advanced as an external program such as RealFlow, but it definitely gets the job done and definitely works in this situation. Um, also, I'm not going to be explaining all the hotkeys that I use to navigate around the scene and all that sort of thing. So it's expected that you have an intermediate to advanced knowledge of Maya um, just to help you get through this tutorial a lot easier. With this video, I'm going to um, provide you with a download link for the resources used in this tutorial. <coughs> and it's simply our base model. Um, just using it for the simulation so that you don't have to worry about modeling your own and encountering all those problems just yet until you know what to do um, and our reflection image that we're going to be using. Um, you could, if you were compositing this into a live action scene or if you wanted a different look, you could definitely use a different image such as a HDRI image. Um, but because we don't have an environment for it uh, or anything for it to reflect, I'm just going to use this image. This is from some of the 3ds Max files. Um, it's just a good base image to use um, for your general chrome effect. Alright, so we're just going to go into Maya and go create a new project. So file, project, new. I have a directory where I store my projects on the C drive and it's just under C projects. Um, but yours will probably be under the My Documents category. So what I'm going to do is call this liquid metal man. I'm just going to use the defaults and hit accept. And OK. And you can just close that out. All right. So what we're going to do is copy our resources over into our project file. Like I said, yours will probably be in my documents under Maya if you haven't set up your own directory for it. But I'm just going to go to my directory. So, like with this C projects, Liquid Metal Man. So, just go into there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up our scenes folder. I've already got some scenes in here from when I've been working on it. So, we shall. Whoops. I'll unminimize that. We'll go here. Control C for copy, 
Control V for paste. I'm going to replace it because it was already in there and it's a different file. And so yeah, I'll just paste that in there. And go to our resources, Control C on our image. Go up to source images and paste that in there. Alright, we'll just close these out. And now we can import our base model. So just go File, Import, and it will automatically go into Scenes, which is where we copied our base object to. Just click it and import. Now that will give us our base object. You can hit 5 to go into Shaded View. Um, now you may notice that the detail in this model isn't very good. Um, it's created, I used to make human to make it. Um, that I then brought into Maya and did some clean up with. Um, we don't want much detail because if the more detail, the longer the simulation is going to take, generally. So um, it's just, I guess, yeah, it's not very detailed. But if you hit three, you can see that it actually does look all right. So just hit one to get back to your normal view. Alright. Okay, now we're going to go into X-ray mode. So you can just click this button here or go shading X-ray. It's just so that we can see through the model when we fill it with our particles. Um, now just go window outliner to open up our outliner. And we're going to rename our man just to base man. Um, having a good naming convention helps keep things nice and clean and tidy. Alright, so with our base man selected, we're going to go end particles, create end particles. Now make sure that's set as balls. Okay? Alright, just go to your fill object, options, open that up. Now I set my resolution to 100, um, just filling it with as many particles as we can, with as much detail as we can. So, just hit particle fill. Now, this process may take 30 or 40 seconds. That's generally what it takes on my machine. It may be quicker on yours or slower. So, I'm just going to pause the video until it's done. Alright, so we're done. That didn't take too long. So, what we're going to do is we can just close that out with our end particle. We're going to rename it to liquid man. And then we're going to hide our base man. So just hit select it in the outliner and hit Control H. Alright, so select our liquid man. Zoom out a bit. Now this can get rather complex, so you may want to hit 4 to go to wireframe. Okay, so hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Go to our nucleus 1 node and select Use Plane, Underground Plane. Uh, what that does is it creates an invisible ground plane at the origin, which is 000, zero, zero just for the fluid to interact with. And go to our Liquid Man Shape. Under Collisions, change the stickiness to 0.1. The reason that we're giving it stickiness is to help with that liquid metal look, because it wouldn't all spread out. And in previous tests that I've done, <coughs> um, sorry, um, uh, yeah, the reason we have the stickiness is because when I've tried doing the simulation before, um, with no stickiness, the liquid after forming into the puddle just started spreading out and kind of didn't stop, um, but the stickiness helps hold everything together. You could also try using um, on the ground plane. You could try adding some friction or even some stickiness to the plane itself. Um, another thing with the ground plane is this. I'm only using it for this simulation, um, just because it's easier than setting up a normal plane and making it collide with the particles. But if you 